assalamu alaikum today's lecture is about sodium channel blockers specifically class 1 antiarrhythmics sodium channel blockers are a class of drugs that act by inhibition of sodium influx through cell membranes they have following subclasses known as 1a 1b and 1c here are examples of the prototypes of the sodium channel blockers like which drugs belong to class 1a 1b and 1c now let's discuss about mechanism of action the main mechanism is blockade of sodium channel so sodium ion movement during phase 0 of the action potential is inhibited so the re the result is slow phase 0 which results in wider and slower qrs wave on the electrocardiogram ecg so the ultimate net result is slower conduction you can see in diagrammatic representation so these are the sodium channel blockers they inhibit sodium ion movement and phase zero of the action potential is inhibited so slow phase zero causes slower conduction as a result phase three can be longer or shorter depending on the subclass a b or c which is used changing the duration of action potential influences the qt interval distance from the qrs to t e wave you can see here phase 0 phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and phase 4 and uh, if phase 3 now here is another diagrammatic representation like you can see the black color is the normal uh, waves and by giving sodium channel blockers it is shown in the red color because abnormal electrical circuit require a delicate balance between conduction speed and refractory times changing these parameters will sometimes terminate terminate dysrhythmias or create new ones now let's discuss about specific differences among the subclasses class 1a generally moderate slowing of phase 0 that is cause medium sodium blockade action potential duration is longer therefore longer qt interval on ecg was, will be shown in class 1a class 1b minimal slowing of phase 0 least sodium blockade and action potential duration is shorter therefore shorter qt interval because of the weak sodium blockade the agent basically act only on disease or ischemic tissue they have basically no effect on arterial tissues class 1c maximal slowing of phase 0 that is greater sodium blockade action potential duration essentially unchanged most pronounced slowing of phase 0 in all cardiac tissue therefore can inhibit the slow sodium channel of the atrioventricular av node and therefore can prolong the av node refractory period and thus prolong the pr interval here is a diagrammatic representation the red color is 1a blue color is 1b and green color is 1c you can see the changes in the action potential here are some pharmacokinetic properties of sodium channel blockers. Let's discuss quinidine. That is, quinidine interacts with digoxin. This results in an increased level of digoxin, that is, a toxic drug with a narrow therapeutic index. And both drugs are anti arrhythmic drugs and have a potential to be co administered. So, caution should be made while co administering these drugs. Lidocaine has a very short half life, about 20 minutes, and is administered intravenously because of a large first pass metabolism effect let's discuss about side effects of sodium channel blockers they are pro arrhythmic let me explain pro arrhythmic means the provocation of new arrhythmia or the aggra aggravation of pre-existing one okay they are also causing nervous system disinfection why because sodium channels are required for nerve function numbness and tingling of the lips and tongue ringing in the air inappropriate behavior decreased consciousness and seizure can all occur thank you very much please subscribe our channel pharmacology notes